The issue of keeping a wild animal at home has always been controversial. We discussed it with Sunil Badiani Hammond from the animal welfare group PETA and Ian Newby, an exotic animal keeper. Ian has been a wild animal keeper for 35 years and has been the head of the Dangerous Wild Animals Rescue Facility for 26. He currently keeps various animals, including Scottish wild cats, snakes, and alligators. If I was going to keep a lynx, it would have a large outside enclosure and it would have all its uh, needs uh, met and cared for. There's no reason why they can't uh, become tame like that one is, but keeping them properly in large enclosures and make, making all their needs met, giving them a quality of life, enrichment, I don't see a problem with it. Keeping exotic animals as pets is completely nonsensical. Even if people are well-intentioned, it's just impossible to do so in that sort of environment. The time you spend with animals and your good attitude towards them doesn't guarantee reciprocity. I experienced a tiger living with me for a year. It was left alone and I had to keep it. And it grew up a good guy. Martin never attacked us, but he's an exception. For now, I know that in the world there are just five such tigers. It is not normal for a wild animal. Martin is an anomaly. The rule is that an animal remains an animal no matter what we make of it. If someone is attacked by a wild animal, such as a lion, there is a little chance to save the person. It usually grabs by the neck or the head. A wild animal always attempts to tear a person apart. The wounds are severe. How safe is it to keep wild animals at home, do you think? I've got six children, every single one of them is safe. They have learned from uh, day dot to respect the animals that I have here. Um, uh, we've not only got the wild animals, we've got rescued uh, domestic cats, we've got dogs, and they respect all wildlife. I've kept a license for 26 years, um, and thank God I've had, I've had no mishaps, everything's been done correctly. Back in 2001, the government uh, looked at the license and found that there was a possibility of uh, uh, non-committance to the license of being 90%. So every 10 people that have a license in England there's another 90 that have dangerous wild animals that don't have a license, and that is concerning. The licenses are just a piece of paper. That doesn't change anything for the animal. They're still suffering in enclosures and in spaces that are entirely unsuitable for their needs. And, you know, we really should be avoiding this wild animal pet industry entirely and pushing for the, a ban on ownership. The issue of wild animals being kept in the home has raised questions over what laws should be put in place to protect people and animals alike. Legislation varies greatly from country to country. In the United Arab Emirates, for example, the private ownership of wild animals has been outlawed. In the UK and Italy, a special license is required to keep a dangerous creature, and in the US, laws are up to each state. Meanwhile, in Russia, there are currently no laws preventing wild animals from being kept domestically. However, recommendations are in place. Even for experienced owners, though, there is always a major risk associated with dangerous pets. Let's go back to our guests again. We've seen examples, a few high-profile ones, of where uh, animals that, that people thought they managed to tame and they found out that they hadn't. There was an example of a pet owner, an Italian lawyer, Sergio Montella, eaten alive by um, a pet lion. There was a horrific example in the Soviet Union of a lion. It had been in movies. It attacked, uh, in the family home where it was being kept, attacked and killed uh, a child there. There's, there's, there's a list of these such examples. Uh, what do you think about the concept of trying to tame wild animals like this? Of course we can never tame these natural animals. We might rip them away from their natural habitat. We might force them to live a life of misery and in captivity, but they will always retain their natural instincts. They will always be frustrated at a life in a tiny space compared to what they're used to. I understand that people keep these animals, and in England We've had the Dangerous Wild Animals uh, Act license since 1976. That's just over 40 years we've had the license in place. Now, in the whole of that 40 years' time, there has never ever been a fatality or uh, a bad injury to a member of the public from any of those licensed animals. There has only ever been one death from a licensed animal, and that was back in 2011. Um, and that was a death of a keeper of one of these animals, it was a king cobra. And sadly the, the guy uh, that had the animal died. 
He knew the responsibilities of what he was taking on. He was licensed and insured. A wild animal will always be a wild animal, and they will retain their natural instincts. They will get miserable, stressed, and they will lash out. I mean, only recently we saw a woman in Atlanta having her face ripped off by a lynx that she was keeping captive. This is an entirely avoidable situation. Police in France have raised concerns that Islamist radicals have infiltrated their ranks. More on that story after this short break.